Romans 5. Is this popular here? Let me ask you this. I'll do this. I'll just do it this way. Christianity is not a religion. It's a... Okay, got it. So it's here too. All right, good. All right. It's not a religion. It's a relationship. Now, here's the thing. We all know what we mean, what we mean when we say that, right? What do we mean? It's not about works righteousness. It's not about what we do. It's about what Jesus did. It's his perfection granted to us as a gift by God's grace. We are in Christ, hiding in Christ. We've been credited his righteousness. All we have to give to God is our sin. And the only way we get eternal life is through faith apart from any work of law. And so what we mean is, is that we're hostile to God. We need to be brought into a place of peace with God, relationship, not religion. I get it. Here's the problem with that statement. It's not a religion. It's a relationship. When we say to somebody, you need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, I think we should clarify a little more. Because Romans 5 says, and there's just no way around this, Romans 5 says that every human being you will ever meet who has ever lived or ever will live is already in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Already. Romans 5, what's it say about Adam? As in Adam, all what? Die. In Christ, all will be made alive. In Adam, there is death and condemnation. In Christ, what is there? The gift of eternal life and righteousness. And so all of humanity is summed up in one of two representatives. You're either in Adam, the head of the fallen human race, or you are in Christ, who is the Redeemer, the second Adam. Now here's the, the, the point of contact with every person we ever talk to. They are either child of God or they are either hostile to God. They are either in Adam or they are in Christ. They are covenantally linked to Adam or to Jesus. 